This video is going to be showing you how to create a homepage using Gutenberg blocks. I used to use Elementor just to create my homepage, but now that I've learned how to use Gutenberg blocks, blocks to make a static homepage, just like the one that you can see in this picture right here, it means that you don't really need Elementor anymore, which is really good because it means there's less bloat and hopefully better page speed now because you can just do everything in Gutenberg. Uh, this structure of a homepage is very similar to Alex from WP Eagle structure and I did sort of borrow from him. Uh, so Alex, if you ever watch this, thank you very much for uh, just the general structure. Uh, but whereas Alex uses Elementor, I've just started using Gutenberg blocks for it. So let's get started uh, and jump over to the screencast now. Okay guys, so we're just here starting a new page. Uh, the first thing that I'm gonna do, I'm using Astra so I can go to my document, scroll down and change the sidebar settings to no sidebar. You may not have this setting on your specific theme uh, or it may be in a different spot, uh, but I'm just making sure that I'm setting mine to no sidebar. If you're a different theme, you're gonna have to find out how to do that yourself. And then I like to have it full width contained in Astra as well. Now, first thing to do is add a block. And when we add our block, we're gonna scroll down to layout elements and columns. So the first block is gonna be two columns. I'm gonna add three more blocks. And these three blocks are going to have three columns each. Okay, so now we've got this general layer. I'm not actually gonna add a title. Uh, this is going to be the three columns and three rows of essentially nine different articles that are going to be my feature articles on the front page. Uh, at the top here, we're going to have text that's a sort of a call to action perhaps on the left hand side and on the right hand side an image. So to get started, I'm going to add an image block. And then I'm going to select a block from my media library. Now I just jumped forward a little bit so that I wouldn't show you my media library, but you can select anything from your media library that you want. Uh, what I've selected is just a black square as a uh, place filler. I don't wanna break any copyrights by putting any images uh, on YouTube. So it's just gonna be black square for me, uh, but you can obviously put any image you want there. On the left hand side, as I said, I wanna create some text. And my text is just gonna be welcome to my blog, the home of the best information on the web. Obviously you can do whatever you want there. I'm gonna make it bold. And actually I might convert it to a heading. Oh God, this is why I use classic paragraphs because <laughs> classic paragraphs are so much easier to handle. Uh, view source code. So all I'm doing in here is changing the, um, the font size. There you go. So I want it to be nice and big like that. Okay. And then that's going to be basically my left hand side, my right hand side of the heading. And then as I scroll down here, I'm going to add an image and then a button saying, let's go and look at this image. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do this with classic. And then I'm going to edit my source code. And I'm going to paste in some source code that I have already put together. And it's actually in the description underneath this YouTube video, if you want to borrow that source code. Okay. So essentially this source code, uh, is my original image, the article title, a short description of the article, and then a read more button at the bottom. I'm gonna go into the source code. I'm just gonna edit that a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna change the width to 100%. And I'm going to give the button a color. Okay, let's have a preview of that now. Okay, so it's coming together a little bit. We've got this blue button down here. We've got an image. So obviously all of these images will be different images. 
but I'm just using black images as my filler. And then I'm just gonna go along and for each of them, go back to a classic paragraph and then use source code, paste in that code again. I've got the width in the new code here and then okay for all of them. Okay, so now you can see that it's starting to come together. Now, one thing that you're gonna to need to do is obviously you're gonna have different images for each of these. So you're gonna to have to go to your image library. So over here, I'm in my image library and I've got, this is just the black image that we've been using. And I just copy that link down here. So I'll just copy that. Go back to our each of our articles and then I'm gonna go view source code and then I can just change the image by just changing the, the image link next to SRC equals. And then you can change it to whatever image you like. Now I make sure all of my images are 500 wide by 333 high. 500 by 333 means that when we preview it, all the images are gonna be nice and lined up and they're not gonna be a bit, you know, uh, you know, some aren't gonna be higher than the others and it, it, that just makes it look a bit ugly. So that's kind of what it's gonna end up looking like. And when you've got images filled in there, obviously it'll look a lot nicer, but then you can just click read more and go into each of your articles and obviously fill in the article title. So maybe this article is how to create a website. And then if I have a URL for how to create a website, I'll just highlight that read more button, click insert link, and then I'll just insert the link there. And then uh, obviously that'll take people to the article when they click read more. And then the short description. Now, one thing that I try to make sure I do is that the short descriptions under each article title are around about the same length and that the titles are around about the same length so that when uh, people look at it, it they all everything lines up nice and neatly. You can see here that this, this description is a little bit higher and this one's a little bit lower. Sometimes that happens if, if the text you know runs onto different lines or anything, but yeah, that's generally what it looks like. And then the next thing you need to do is once you've published that, uh, so I'm gonna to go to Rank Math and I'm gonna give my article a permalink. So if my article's permalink was, let's just say home, say it's home, the permalink was nichesafari.com forward slash home. Once I've published it, go to customize, now customize the settings is gonna be different depending upon what theme you have active. But for Astra, I just go to home page settings. Your home page displays a static page and then select the page being home. And then that's done. And then once I click publish, it'll become the home page. If for example, your permalink was forward slash home page or niche or whatever, then that's what the text would be. So this is just the permalink text that we've got right here. All right guys, I hope that was useful to you. I know it was very different sort of a uh, tutorial. Uh, so let me know if it was useful to you. I think that probably less people would watch this than my usual ones uh, because it's a very specific topic. But hey, I'm trying a few things out and I thought that was really cool. So uh, yeah, let me know whether or not it was useful to you and uh, I'll see you in the next video.